Hi everyone, in this video, I am going to talk about how to add measurable accomplishments in your resume to ensure that your resume is making a clear and direct influence on the interviewer so that he is asking you questions that are specific to your own strength. So let's get started. So here's a secret. All hiring managers love candidates who have quantifiable data on their resume pointers. Why? Because it shows that you are someone who is action oriented. Let me take you through this particular aspect of your resume to ensure that your resume actually goes a notch above all the people who are applying for a particular kind of a role. So as I mentioned, hiring managers prefer people who are goal oriented. When I say what is goal oriented, it is as in if you are doing a particular activity, what was the impact of that activity? If you were working on a product, then how many people registered for it? If you are someone you know who is working on a specific kind of problem, when you solve that problem, what was the impact? How many people actually got impacted by it? Or what was the revenue your company made out of this activity? Or what was the cost that your company saved? Or if there is any other impact, let's say in marketing, in operations, in strategy, wherever that impact is. So what exactly is that impact? If you can quantify, if you can put that impact in your resume, that will ensure that your recall is going to be much higher than all the other candidates who have just a generic resume without any numbers in it. Okay. So this, so how do you quantify your, your resume bullet points is that, you know, you'll have to look at each and every bullet point that you have on your resume and see where exactly you can put a number around it. So I'll give you, one of the examples, you know, um, so I'll give you, I'll give you one of the examples. A, a regular person would say that he is a coordinator of an event and that's about it. But when you say you are a coordinator of an event, if you are a coordinator of an event, which was attended by 10 people versus you were a coordinator of an event, which was attended by 5,000 people, there is a difference because managing 5,000 people, good job. You have done something which is significant. Right. So if you can quantify this bullet point, if you can make this bullet point like the way I have mentioned at the bottom, which is this, it says that you organize an event which had 5K plus footfall, which means it was attended by 5000 people and it had a 3 lakh rupees budget. It says that you are someone who can manage people. That is one. Number two, you are someone who can be trusted with spending 3 lakh rupees because you know how to spend 3 lakh rupees judiciously. Now you become someone who is really important for me as an you, you, you become an asset for me in my organization. Now in similar fashion. So here is another example. It says that you reduced scope of error, but by what percentage, by, by what margin did you reduce the scope of error? I don't know. And hence there's no impact in that line. So you can change that by mentioning what exactly was the scope of error reduction that happened. It says that, you know, you use some model which re reduced the scope of error by 24%. If you are able to achieve that kind of a number, that means that's, that, that's a great number to showcase. Now the person knows that you have done something which actually made a real impact in the model that you created. Number three is this. This is specifically for the people who have worked on a project for their companies. So it says that you conducted proof of concept. But now if you conducted proof of concept, then what happened? I have no idea, right? Because if you are conducting proof of concept and then you are migrating, let's say thousand data points, not a big deal. You can do it in just two weeks of time itself, right? But when you say that you formulated a strategy and conducted proof of concept and con for consolidating 6 million plus records, that means this is something which is a problem that needs to be solved at scale because migrating or digitizing 60 lakh or 6 million records is not a small deal. It will require a lot of coordination, a lot of project management, a lot of other skills that a person who would be just digitizing 1000 records will not have. So whenever you are working on your resume, please ensure that you are putting data points. Some of the people, you know, when I speak with them, they say that they cannot um, quantify their resume bullet points because there's nothing to quantify. I don't agree with this. You can always quantify your resume bullet points. If let's say you just attended a seminar, just try and see that seminar had what kind of people were there people who had, um, 
you know presented their papers in national international papers that means you know you went to a place where you learned something judicious so try to put that aspect here if you are someone who participated in just participated but did not win then that might be a very very weak point but when you if let's say you have participated in a national level competition that becomes an achievement itself because participating itself in national level competition shows that you know you are someone who is eligible to go there at a national level right so that national level becomes your quantification so try and see how you can micro, how you can basically quantify the bullet points uh, in your resume to make that immediate impact on the hiring manager if you are finding the content of this video helpful then consider liking this video right now and subscribe the channel to get more updates on job search from thinksage now here is the assignment out of this activity first you know the way i have done here the way i have shown here put numbers around your bullet points to ensure that your interviewer the moment he looks at your resume he makes a favorable impression of you so that's about it in this video in the next video we're going to talk about how to take the advantage of keyword optimization to ensure that you are ranking ahead in the application tracking ranks systems and how can you beat them to your own advantage till then if you have any specific questions put them in the comment box i'll be happy to answer all the questions that you have regarding anything that is specific to resumes